The guys came by and wanted me to go for a ride with them. When I said no, they tried to guilt trip me. Come on, man, our Saturday thing, you know? Don't they get it? I wanna go, but with Dad gone, I gotta step up, do more around here. And my little brother, Marcos? Watching him's a lot of work. I know he's only three, but police. I tell him to be good because it's hard on Mom. Especially now. And my sister? Ever since Dad died, she's been even more perfect. Straight A's and stuff? Saint Marisol, you know? I'm not like her with the whole school thing. I mean, I do enough to get by. And now, I really don't care. So my grades are slipping and Mom's on my case about it. I wish everyone would just leave me alone. Jake calls every week to check up on me. He was my dad's best friend. They were in the Marines together. He really misses my dad too. He asks me how I'm doing. Things are so messed up. I think I'm losing it. I'm really angry that dad got deployed and now everything's falling apart. It's not fair that I have to take over at home. I don't want to be around my friends. I see them with their dads and I want to scream. Jake told me there's this group for military teens like me. He wants to talk to me and mom about it. I wasn't so sure. I, I said I'd think about it. Maybe he's right. I wonder what it would be like to talk to someone who gets it for a change.